Well, here we are, fellas. On our way to Fayetteville. Skies are not looking all that great, but after this morning, ain't nothing can hurt me. I'm serious, man. That was intense. That was, that was intense. I had to come in here. It's a good thing this Motel 6 here in Salisaw let me in early. Because I got here at like 8. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. It's like 8.30. Oh, which way do I go to? I guess I got to go back down that way. A check-in's not till 11. And they let me in because they could tell that I was in a little bit of distress. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but and I was mostly dry. <clears throat> My feet were wet. And uh, around my collar right here was just a little bit wet because my hoodie's hanging out the back and I guess it wicked a lot of that or some of that moisture into my collar area which it wasn't that big a deal because I'm pretty much closed up but my lens kept fogging up and so I had to keep it cracked which meant which allowed the water in but man I'm telling you from the time I left my house I had second thoughts about whether or not I should be leaving when I did it was sideways windy I mean it was pushing me all over the road the water even on the interstate was deep enough to slow you down if you hit it too fast and the water was coming down man I've never been in rain that heavy, much less for that long. I mean, I guess kinda was in it that long on the way to Antlers that one time, but it wasn't raining that hard, man. I mean, I had a hoodie on. It was raining and the fairing took most of it. But this time it was like, holy moly, this is rain, baby. And I mean, we're on 70 mile an hour. 40 eastbound and semi trucks are doing 50 and so I really was second guessing myself if I was making a good decision or not and uh, I probably should have waited but I wasn't anticipating it being that big of an issue because from the you know looking at the rain from my garage with the garage door open It was raining, but I mean, it didn't look like it was raining all that hard. But my goodness. It was sure coming down. But the thing about it was, is once I got on the interstate and realized how hard it was raining, I kept going further and further and further and the further you go the less likely you are to turn around and go back and besides all that I'm already wet I might as well push through this and the whole time I'm going east on I-40 I'm thinking just make Shakota just make Shakota Shakota's two hours from the house just make Shakota I had a full tank and I did but man every time I would see one of those I mean, all you can really see is what's in front of you. It's dark outside. And uh, rain all over my visor here and coming in. It was intense. And every time I would see one of those, it looked like those truck stops. It's got the fuel prices list, uh, labeled up in uh, lights, in red and green lights. Every time I would see one of those, man, I was like, I gotta pull over. I gotta pull over. And I'm thinking, man, if you pull over, then whatever's bothering you right now is gonna intensify. And so I didn't stop. 
I just, you know, when you get in the pocket, you just, I just stuck, man. I just stuck and pushed on through. And that in itself is rewarding. So I got to, I was watching my, my trip meter. And at 75 miles from the house, the rain stopped completely. My visor cleaned up and I was like, yeah! Five miles later, more rain all the way here. So look at this, man. This is just amazing. Here, headed to Fayetteville. Oh, how wonderful. So I'll duck back in with you guys here in a little bit.